హాయ్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు టిఎఫ్పిసి దిస్ ఈజ్ రేణు ఈరోజు మనతో పాటు అమ్మ కుట్టి అమ్మ కుట్టి ఎస్ ఎ గర్ల్ ఇన్ రెడ్ డ్రెస్ సో ఎ గర్ల్ ఇన్ రెడ్ అనగానే మనకి అమ్మ కుట్టి చబ్బి చిక్స్ డింపుల్ చిన్న అలా గుర్తొస్తుంది కదా యా షీఈస్ నన్ అదర్ దాన్ నటాషా దోషి లెట్ ఎస్ టాక్ టు హెర్ కోతుల రాయుడు సినిమా ప్రమోషన్స్లో భాగంగా ఈరోజు ఆమె మనతో పాటు ఉన్నారు సో సినిమా విశేషాలతో పాటు ఇండస్ట్రీలో ఆమె ఫీలింగ్ ఎలా ఉంది ఆమె ప్రజెన్స్ ఎలా ఫీల్ అవుతున్నారో ఆమె మాటలో తెలుసుకున్నాం నమస్కారం నమస్కారం థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ ద లవ్లీ లవ్లీ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ వెరీ టచ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ మే నో హౌ కెన్ వీ సే నమస్కారం ఇన్ మలయాళం నమస్కారం ఇస్ నమస్కారం ఇన్ మలయాళం ఆల్సో ఓకే ద సేమ్ సేమ్ ఓకే డిడ్ యూ లర్న్ తెలుగు కొంచెం కొంచెం టు బి ఆనెస్ట్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ కోవిడ్ దర్ వాజ్ అ గ్యాప్ అండ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ ఐ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ స్టార్ట్ లైక్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ స్టార్టెడ్ లర్నింగ్ ఇట్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ బుక్ ఎట్ హోమ్ ఆల్సో బట్ దెన్ బికాస్ ఐ డెంట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ వన్ టు కన్వర్స్ విత్ లిట్ లిట్ లైఫ్ ఆ గాడ్ ఓకే బట్ ఐమ్ ట్రైంగ్ so natasha actually uh, i listened that uh, insults uh, you'll say uh, to all anta bagunda baguna ara in a cute way uh, can i listen that yeah chala baguna <laughs> okay uh, so how is your presence how you how do you feel your presence in tollywood industry it's been wonderful so far it's been a journey and i think i'm very grateful for having given the opportunity to work with such a big superstar such as balakrishna sir mm. in my very first film and because i got to work with him uh, i by default got a lot of love and adoration from his fans mm. uh, which i'm so grateful for so because of that it the whole journey has been so beautiful and so heartfelt and i love hyderabad i love coming to hyderabad i love working with hyderabad mm. hyderabadi people and uh, there's just so much respect for people here mm. and i love that you know it's it's so genuine and there's no like malice or like you know mm. jealousy or anything like that in anyone's heart here mm. and uh, yeah because of that i really really like to coming to hyderabad and i love working in hyderabad you don't experience any jealous from others i'm talking about the people who i've worked with okay. i've not experienced it with them okay. of course otherwise there will be people who will <laughs> everyone has a certain degree of jealousy in their heart but i'm saying specifically with respect to the industry to the people i've worked with they've all been super supportive they've all been super loving and uh, super helpful did you ever see a girl or a co star uh, uh, some attitude oh no <laughs> that kind of attitude uh, in your co star or any other girl not in my co stars but uh, several times when i've done events i have uh, met actresses who've been like that hmm. but there are also actresses who are not at all like that you know so i think that exists in every industry there are some good people some bad people some people who are a bit arrogant some people who are very down to earth hmm. and it's just what you focus on right okay so coming to kotala raidu లైక్ ట్రైలర్ బాగుంది అండ్ శ్రీకాంత్ గారు ఇంకా కొత్తగా కనిపిస్తున్నారు అంటే ఇప్పటి వరకు ఒక టెరిఫిక్ శ్రీకాంత్ గారిని చూసాము అఖండాలో అండ్ ఇప్పుడు అంతే మళ్ళీ బ్యాక్ శ్రీకాంత్ ఒక ఎంటర్టైనింగ్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్తో రాబోతున్నారు కోతల రాయుడుతో లైక్ హౌ యూ సీ యూ వాచ్ ద ఫిల్మ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ వాచ్ ద ఫిల్మ్ యాక్చువల్లీ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఐ వుడ్ సీ దర్ కోతల రాయుడు ఈజ్ అ కంప్లీట్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఎంటర్టైనర్ ఫిల్మ్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ అ లైట్ హార్టెడ్ ఫన్ ఫిల్మ్ విచ్ యూ కెన్ వాచ్ విత్ యువర్ ఫ్యామిలీ అండ్ హ్యావ్ అ గుడ్ టైమ్ ఇట్స్ ఐ థింక్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ యూనిక్ రైట్ నా బికాస్ ఆల్ ద ఫిల్మ్స్ దర్ హెవ్ బిన్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ అండ్ యూ మే అగ్రీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్ బిన్ సో హెవీ సో సీరియస్ యూ నో దట్ దెస్ బిన్ జస్ట్ సో మచ్ లైక్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇస్ లైక్ అ సీరియస్ సీరియస్ సబ్జెక్ట్ వెరీ ఫ్యూ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ ఆర్ యాక్చువల్లీ లైట్ రైట్ నా అండ్ ఎస్పెషలీ డ్యూరింగ్ కోవిడ్ అండ్ ఆల్ వెన్ దేర్ ఆర్ లైక్ వెన్ దర్ సో మచ్ స్ట్రెస్ and anxiety mm-hmm. people like to watch something a little bit which is a lighter film yes. or a lighter show mm. which makes them forget about their issues mm. and i think kotal raidu will do just that mm. and it's a good story it's a good uh, it's like a little bit of everything there are different emotions and lot of good characters a lot of good artists so i think overall there's a very good blend of everything and uh, even the songs in the film are really really good so i think it's really worth watching <laughs> yeah okay so completely entertainment package yes right? 100% okay so what about your character so my character's name is dhan lakshmi in the film okay and uh, she is a simple village girl which is why i actually took the character up because i'm a complete city girl for <laughs> me to do a village girl would be like doing something out of my box out of mm-hmm. you know my comfort zone i would say and that to pick it up about like you know to actually pick up the little elegance elegance and the little little uh, details of a telugu ammai mm. like i'll say 
that was the challenge for me and i wanted to be able to do that and i wanted the audience to see me in a role which was a little different hmm. from the character that i did in jaisimha hmm. uh, which is something that kind of resonated with me and i thought it was a very sweet character she's a very innocent girl uh, a strong believer of love hmm. and believer of love overcoming everything hmm. and uh, just a very simple girl who enjoys the little things in life and is very happy in her little own world Okay, so uh, did you ever uh, met people like Telugu village girls? Did you ever met Telugu ammai? Um, I mean, I have not uh, specifically. I have not interacted with them, but mm. uh, I did watch a few films uh, just to kind of understand okay. how it would be. I mean, I know uh, which films you watched. I actually watched at that time Rangas Thalam because even Rangas Thalam. Yeah, okay. yeah. Rangas Thalam was one of the films that I watched because uh, Samantha's role in that was like a village girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I try to watch all those little, little like. Mm-hmm. It, little, little bit of everything, you know. <laughs> okay. So, uh, may I know, like uh, in real life, also, do you enjoy little things, or? Uh, I think it's very important to enjoy the little things in life. I think that's the key to being happy, right? Mm-hmm. If you'll be happy with your cup of tea or coffee, you okay. have reasons to be grateful for. Right. You'll find reasons to be more happy in life. You mm-hmm. know, it's it's the little things in life that count. Okay. Me refreshment in tea. I love tea. Okay, you enjoy it. <laughs> Until like, uh, what takes your frustration? Me copa ni, le da frustration ni, pakan pete se little thing ente. A couple of things actually. Okay. For me, uh, the first and most important thing that takes away everything and makes me be stress free is my dog Nora. Ah, uh-huh. Nora. Nora. Yeah. Nora. Nora. <laughs> it is Nora. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So she definitely takes away a lot of stress. Okay. She's the world's cuddliest, cutest dog. Mm-hmm. And uh, other than that, working out really helps me. Yeah, okay. Because I feel like it's it just kind of fills you in with endorphins, and you're just so pumped up with energy yeah. that you kind of are so, and you're so focused when you're working out okay. that you kind of forget and you shut out from the rest of hmm. whatever it is that you're facing. And hmm. after the workout, you're filled with hor- like endorphins, and that release really kind of. Helps me overcome stress and anxiety. Okay, so Natasha, I'm going to red color and a chala istama. No, nothing like that. Totally in red. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. I just like the outfit, so I wore red. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then when I know me outfits, me re choosey ka selectors kunta ro ani. Uh, you design your little things, a uh, little quite. I I actually thing. struggle with this because I, I I'm a strong believer that. Um, Only I can take care of all the little things. Okay. So I have a hard time in delegating work, which I'm trying to get better at. I'm trying to, you know, be able to delegate work and not think about it because mm-hmm. I stress about the littlest things. Hmm. I've got this uh, habit from my mother because she is a perfectionist, and somewhere she's trained me to be one. Okay. So I end up micromanaging a lot of things, hmm. and yeah, so I am quite picky and choosy about what I do, and I can't do something if I don't believe in it. like yeah. i have to be 100% passionate about what i'm doing whether it's an outfit i'm wearing whether it's the makeup i'm buying whether mm-hmm. it's me eating a meal whether it's me doing a film i have to be 100% passionate about it oh okay. i have to believe in it so yeah, okay. for me that's like a very strong thing if i don't feel it i will not do it okay and uh, coming to acting uh, if you know the language you can understand the scene or situation or the emotion well yeah uh, 100% ah uh, Uh, if you don't know the language, you'll you'll have some difficult times, tough things. So how do you manage? So such course, a perfectionist girl. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the challenge with it, no? To be able to understand it and yet try to emote it, and that's the challenge which any girl who's not from Hyderabad, mm. uh, like who comes to work in Hyderabad, faces. Mm. Mm. Uh, but me being me, I love. having my script beforehand mm-hmm. uh, and i've always worked with people who've always sent me my script beforehand where i know what day i'm shooting what scene mm-hmm. so i'm preparing those dialogues i have someone who's translated the dialogues for me mm-hmm. so once i know what it means mm-hmm. and if you're un- getting into the depth of the character then words are just a way of communicating it mm-hmm. you know if you if you can understand what the character is feeling and what the character is trying to show yeah. then the language is just it's just words hmm. so if you feel it you can show it of course yeah. it is a challenge and telugu is not an easy language <laughs> <laughs> so but uh, huh. it, there is a certain joy in overcoming that challenge also of hmm. being able to say a certain line you hmm. know which you are not like which you may not understand fluently but you have a certain understanding of it but you know the translated meaning of it okay who helped you the most uh when i'm shooting or yeah, like I'm overall shooting. 
yeah so when i'm shooting uh, i always have my director always helps me okay there always has been an assistant director who also helps me sits with me and tells me you know like mm. even if there's a word like anukuntu nanu yeah. how to say it ha uh-huh. ha so all the little things we we sit and work on it it's okay. not like it's not like we just manage and free like like you know freestyle it we we work on it yeah and meer cheptunaru chaala padalu inka em nechukunaru baagunnara anukuntunanu inka maaku telene inka em unnai sorry i do not understand <laughs> <all that. laughs> do you know other telugu words yeah i do little bit little bit hmm. like konjam konjam telugum like i said oh, okay okay fine so uh, uh, shrikanth gar tho act cheyadam ela anpinchindi so shrikanth sir is a very reserved person mm-hmm. uh, but it's been he's very comfortable co star to work with mm-hmm. uh, he's he, he he's very like he'll do his work and then when he's you know he he's so good at switching off like when okay. he's when when they say action he's in his character and then when the minute they say cut he's like back to being <laughs> shrikanth sir okay so that is something that's really amazing like how he can switch on and off from a character so quickly mm-hmm. and when he's in his flow of acting mm-hmm. he's so amazing you okay. know it's it's absolutely uh, beautiful to see that okay uh, did you ever felt uh, any difficulty or some kind of nervousness uh, in front of acting like nandamuri balakrishna garu and shrikanth garu such a huge stars in telugu oh uh, yeah a little bit but honestly not so much because they both been so warm mm-hmm. both the films that i've done i've worked i've been fortunate enough to work with people who have always really taken very good care of me who always made me feel so warm mm-hmm. like for for me jaisimha and kotal rai do both have been films which i feel has become a family for me okay you know and it it goes with your director making you feel that way your producer making you feel that way your hero making you feel that way all your co-stars mm-hmm. and like you know the whole crew also there's a certain love you share with every single person you work with in a crew and if you feel that warmth from them it kind of takes away all the nervousness okay yeah so i heard that you felt very bad because of uh, lockdown and the uh, covid 19 uh, just because it kept you away from the telugu industry yeah it definitely did you know in fact I, every industry was impacted with covid but i think the film industry was impacted a little bit harder and a little bit longer than the other industries and just when we thought things are getting better uh, there would be a new variant so mm. covid kept attacking us <laughs> and uh, kotal rai do when we started filming the movie also we had ma- we had started filming it thinking that this is a theater release mm. you know uh, we were very firm on that mm. and we've been patient and we waited and we waited for things to get better mm. and uh, when we're actually so happy that it's releasing in a theater because mm. we wanted to do a theater release mm. and definitely covid impacted and i was really upset that covid had kept me away from the film industry for quite a while but uh, mm. things are getting back better mm. and let's hope for the best okay so at the time of jai samha release uh, uh, i heard that um, uh, you know about power star fans and all huge following <laughs> uh, that uh, kind of is the madness of love towards pavan kalyan I think for both, uh, even for Pawan Kalyan Garu and even for Balakrishna Garu, they both have a mad, mad uh, fan following. Mm. Something that's very unseen of mm. in uh, you know back home in Bombay. Uh, so that was something that I was like, wow, like that. This is madness. <laughs> But it's also like that the dedication that you see that people have for mm. heroes like this. It's really something, you know. And I I always tell all my friends and family back home that. This is not something you can understand unless you go there and you see it. Okay. The excitement <laughs> for a release, you know, the trailer being launched, okay. Even the name of the the title release, the kind of madness there is. It's amazing. Okay, you observe that only here only? A little bit more here, yeah. Acha acha, okay. Uh did you observe uh, any differences from Malayalam industry and uh, Telugu industry? So Malayalam industry is a little like smaller in comparison to the Telugu industry. Mm. Uh I mean when you go to talk about the production value or the kind of scripts that are there versus here. Of mm. course now there is a slight change even in the Telugu industry where there are more serious films mm. and more like uh, content based films coming yeah, but yeah. the Malayalam industry has always been a bit like uh, like story focused not so commercial like there are all but very few commercial films over there as such okay did you ever watch unstoppable show of uh, balakrishna no he did a talk show i know i know i know <laughs> yeah yeah i know yeah. that he did the talk show but i actually have not got a chance to watch it actually madhya chaala energetic ga audience tho kotta ga balakrishna gar kanpistunnaru anpinchindi he is very energetic but balasa is like very energetic anywhere like if you if you see him on shoot 
anywhere mm. and everywhere he's super super energetic and that's what makes him the superstar that he is you know In that energy song, is so just so like mm. contagious okay so uh, super hit song amma kutti yeah. uh, actually balakrishna garu a song aina sare agakunda dance chestaru he won't stop at any point he keeps on dancing uh, like uh, did you ever felt any difficulty no i didn't because uh, like i love dancing as well and okay. i'm a good dancer so you're uh, a classical dancer right i'm a trained classical yeah, dancer yeah. Mm-hmm. and uh, i like we had done rehearsals for it uh, before we went to sh- shoot the song also mm-hmm. so i didn't really have difficulties with the choreography mm-hmm. but uh, the only thing i would say was a bit of an obstacle was shooting in the desert mm-hmm. for amakuti where uh, the sand was just flowing everywhere so you have to keep mm-hmm. your eyes open but there's sand flying in your eyes so mm-hmm. those kind of little things but dancing is never a challenge for me yeah, okay <laughs> so you got miss kerala also right in 2010 yeah miss talented yeah miss talented miss talented kerala in miss kerala yeah okay so uh, uh, like how it helped you the most and uh, if it is not there like uh, how will be your lifestyle or uh, your future So I've actually been acting since I was 8 years old. I was a child artist as to do Hindi television. Mm. Uh, I've even done like a reality show in uh, Kerala many many years ago. Mm. Uh so my life I think I've always uh, be- been very clear. I think at the age of 8 I was very clear that I want to grow up and become an actor and okay. I think I have trained every day of my life to you know becoming one mm. and uh, like being a part of miss kerala was something it happened like it was a very spontaneous thing i applied i got selected mm-hmm. it just happened very quickly mm-hmm. uh my life i think couldn't have been any different than it is right now because one way or the other i would land up in the industry because mm-hmm. i have so much love for acting for dancing and there's no, nothing that could keep me away from it yeah, okay but winning miss talented is something uh, uh, precious and great also like uh, what did you learn from that actually i was the youngest contestant okay. uh, when i participated mm-hmm. and uh, for me i was a little nervous at that time because when i was participating there were girls who were like 15 years older than me mm-hmm. who obviously had a lot more exposure in life than me and there were also people who were like state level award winners you know for yeah. dancing and stuff mm-hmm. so i was a little nervous like okay you know will i be able to match up and then you know everyone has a different parameter based on what they judge a person yeah, yeah. so for me i what i had done for my for my round was that i had uh, combined they had given us a certain amount of time mm-hmm. within which we had to perform whatever you want to perform oh, okay. if you want to sing if you want mm-hmm. to paint you want to dance mm-hmm. whatever but what i had done was that i had combined uh, my dance and at the end of it i had started an acting thing so i did ah, two things yeah uh, okay and uh, that kind of uh, yeah i was very happy about it <laughs> okay okay so how is your experience with your co-stars like dimple mahesh dhanraj and all oh uh, it's been fun uh, dimple is also a very sweet girl it's been like there was no like you know sometimes when you work with another female mm-hmm. actress there may be a little bit of like uh, competitiveness and mm-hmm. she was not like that at all and i think uh, that's a very good feature to have in a person because when you think of the film as one mm-hmm. that's what makes the film so nice mm-hmm. and i think most of the people who've been in this project have been so focused on giving it their best it's, so it's made with a lot of love and i think it's that's what makes it appear also with so much joy if you watch the trailer and if you watch the film <laughs> uh, natasha like you have a doubt why only heroes uh, uh, get these taglines like a uh, superstar yeah uh, like cool star uh, darling uh, cool star <laughs> natural star why not natural hero star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah even i want one <laughs> what do you want which title I which tagline should be you quality want? Huh? There should be equality uh-huh. for female actresses too, no? Okay, yeah. Why are we partial to only male actors? Did here? you ever asked uh, any actor or no, any I director? No, actually, when I was working with them, I didn't know that. But I don't. I mean, I think they just accepted. But I don't think they would have an issue with any female star being called something as well, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. It doesn't take away their charm. Mm. It's you're just like giving someone else also the same. Mm. like credit that they deserve okay so natasha is asking for uh, rewards for heroines for every also. actress yeah for every actress is also yeah 100% <laughs> isn't it fair <laughs> okay so who inspired you the most from your childhood my mother which heroine oh, uh, like sorry ah. <laughs> which heroine okay uh so i am all, i'm genuinely the kind of person who believes in seeing the good in everybody so i think there's a lot to learn from everyone if you want to learn mm. and not only from their good parts but also from their bad parts you learn a lot from a person's mistakes as well mm. so i would say that uh, i love 
Priyanka Chopra the most. I think she yeah. is the absolute role model for anybody and everybody. Hmm. She has literally broken glasses with everything she's doing. <laughs> right? Yeah. But yeah. if it comes to acting, I would like as a human, as a person, as a woman. She, I think she's just unlocking so many doors, and she's really like you know, just when you think, wow, she's outdone herself, she does something. Yet again, which is phenomenal and groundbreaking. Mm. So she is definitely a very, very big role model for me. Uh, but uh, Shri Devi Ma'am was also someone who I looked up to a lot. Mm. And Vijayanti Mala, I actually uh, grew up. Uh, my mother used to make me watch videos of them performing, just for me to understand like how these great artists have been and the kind of dancing they do to help me understand expressions, to help me understand like you can do this if you work hard. Yeah. So yeah. let us end up uh, end up this with a rapid fire, okay? Uh, like, uh, which actor in Telugu you like the most? Alu Arjun. Alu Arjun. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, heroine? Samantha. Okay. So a word for Srikanth Garu? Uh, elegant. One word for Balakrishna Garu? Mm, rock star. Okay. Pawan Kalyan Garu? Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Uh, whom do you want to work with you? Uh, junior NTR. With Junior and Tiyar Garu, okay. Uh, which actress you feel uh, she is the challenging one for me? Uh, I think uh, Anushka Shetty in Bahubali. Anushka Shetty, okay. Uh, inka Alanti roles, Shreyalan Kutra, what, you, what is your dream role or favorite role? I don't have a specific dream role as such. I feel like uh, when you get a good story, when you get a good character, and uh, for me the most important thing is to see if the audience can connect to that character and if the audience can remember me, even as Amma Kuti, for example, yeah. then I think my job as a performer is done and that's what I want. I just want to be kept in people's hearts. Okay. So any character that helps me feel like this will be remembered, I will take it up. Okay. So which director you want to work? Uh, Raj Mouli sir, 100%. <laughs> I think that's a default answer for everybody. <laughs> One word about Prabhas Garu? Uh, hard working person. Okay. So, uh, which quality in you, you like? Uh, I like that I am persistent. Okay. Uh, I will never give up and uh, that's something that makes me want to always give it my best and get better at everything and everything I do. Mm. So, I just have this fire in me which makes me never want to quit. Mm. You know, like if I have something in my mind and as mm. long as I believe in myself, mm. I know I can do it. Nalo mm. equality was layali and kune the ante. Something that uh, I, I wish I didn't have. Uh. Um, that I may end up having expectations from people, even though, you know, we, okay. we know we shouldn't, but sometimes subconsciously you have expectations from people. Okay. So, Kamaini uh, stronger ka chase the than we believe just the I did not understand uh, that. <laughs> which thing or. Uh, uh, what a girl makes uh, what makes a girl more stronger I think self belief okay like if you can believe in yourself that you can do anything you really can hmm. that's all you need you know you are not what you think you are but you become what you think so okay. as long as you think wonderful things about yourself and you work towards that actively you will be able to do anything and everything one word about your mother uh, force of nature sorry three words but my mom is a force of nature <laughs> Nice. And your inspiration too, right? She is my inspiration and role model in life, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Natasha, for your Thank time. Thank you so much. It's been lovely. Thank you, Natasha Doshi. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. Uh, it's uh, fun to talk to you. And I wish to see you in more films in Telugu. Inka chala films. Shri I wish to also do more films in Telugu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And Mali Mali Hyderabad ki Rawali. And that's uh, enjoy Chayali. Next uh, time, Nenu Kichiti Telugu English lo kaakunda. Yeah, next time I speak in Telugu more. 100%. Thank you. Thank you so much.